What's the fastest way to upgrade your life? To transform your grades? To improve every area of your life, from your studying, to your health, to the amount of money in your bank account? For me, it's creating and sticking to daily habits that orient around mind training and body training. Going to the gym every morning for an hour. Learning a language every day for 30 minutes. Studying seven or eight hours a day, or however many hours it might be. It's these incremental changes that you implement into your life. It's the determination. Not being satisfied with what you are achieving right now. As Tony Robbins puts it, it's a hunger to grow, a hunger to learn, a hunger to give, a hunger to serve, a hunger to create breakthroughs, a hunger that doesn't go away. Most people are hungry until they achieve a certain grade level, and there's nothing wrong with that. But it's not about the grades. It's not about the studying. It's bigger than that. Because every one of us either grows or dies. People ask me all the time, what does it take to be happy? I say one word, progress. Progress equals happiness. Because achieving a goal feels good for how long? Maybe a day, a week, a month. And then there needs to be something else. And the reason for something else is because you've got to grow. And that's where daily habits come in. They give you incremental targets to achieve. And in doing so, you go to bed knowing you're stronger, wiser, smarter than the day before. So if you're doing anything today, make at least one daily habit that you'll stick to religiously. That you'll carry out every day, whether it's to meditate for 15 minutes at 2 p.m. every day, or read a book for 30 minutes. Whatever it is, stick to it. Finding the right daily habits and creating a daily routine will fuel your discipline and motivation and help you regain wasted time. Your mind and body will thank you for the decreased anxiety and extra care you've given it. I can tell you I'm going to make my dreams become a reality. And it starts right here with my studying. The work ethic and discipline that I practice will carry me, not only through university, but through the rest of my life. I don't care how much money I have to invest, how much time I have to invest, how many hurdles I have to jump through. I'm going to continue doing this until I'm successful. I love how Eric Thomas talks about his show up rule. He says, you can pretend that you care, but you can't pretend that you're there. The only way that you can show that you care is if you show up. And what I'm asking you to do for me is to show up every single day. It's easy to miss class on a Monday morning when you're feeling tired. The problem is, you'll miss that one class and you'll get away with it. Then you'll miss another class, and then another, and then another. It's human nature. If we can get away with it and get instant short-term satisfaction from it, then we keep doing it. And it's an easy trap to fall into. That's why it's so important to not miss even one class, because it can quickly snowball into something more dangerous. You've suffered enough already. You deserve to do well. You already know what failure feels like. So now it's time to know what success feels like. So I'm not going to lie. I was scared of going to university. I did so poorly at school, I was rejected by university after university. But one let me in, and I told my professor, what happens if I put in all these years and I don't get it? He said, well, what if you put in all these years and you get it? And I got it, and it changed my life. I went from being at the bottom of the class at school to being in the top 5% at university. You carry on like that and you'll climb to the top of your class within a couple of months. 
Your friends will ask you if you've started studying for the exam yet, and you'll smile because you know you're so organized and motivated. You started studying two months ago. While they're studying overnight in the library, panicking the night before the exam. You'll be relaxing, getting ready for bed, knowing you've earned that rest. You're ready for the exam tomorrow. You've been ready for weeks. Because you've got your hunger back. You're not the same person you were last year. You're not that little kid that leaves their studying to the last minute. You look nothing like that. You've grown. You've evolved. You're twice the person you were back then. You know what you were doing wrong, and you made the adjustments that were needed to take you to the next level. I used to have a long list of reasons why my grades weren't that good. I felt I had to explain to myself, otherwise I would look bad. I had this weird list called reasons for not looking good. I used to blame my professor. He wasn't teaching me anything. I used to blame my parents. They didn't give me enough support. I used to blame my friends. After school, they kept asking me to go out with them. I used to blame not having enough time. And most students have this list. It can even be pages and pages long. But you need to screw up that paper, throw it in the bin, get a blank sheet of paper, and write one word. Me. Because it's not what happens that determines the quality of your life. And the reason is, what happens to you happens to all of us. All your classmates had the same professor as you. All your classmates had the same amount of time as you. The same thing can happen to two different people, but one student gets good grades, the other student gets poor grades. Why is that? It's because it's not what happens. It's what you do that changes everything. So if I had a chat with you tonight, one-on-one, -on -one, just you and me, my personal advice to you would be, reach down inside you and come up with more of those remarkable human gifts that you have within you. They're there, waiting to be utilized, and then change anything in your life that you want to change. And I challenge you to do that, because I know you have the ability to change. If you don't like how it is for you, change it. If you don't like your grades, study more. If you don't like your body, go to the gym. If you don't like your friends, get new friends. You don't have to be the same after this video. And if you are, it's completely your choice. Take full responsibility. Don't complain. Be prepared. Be kind. And go out there and study.